Leonardo AI Image to Image. Hi there and welcome to Tech Tricks Tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use Image to Image in Leonardo AI. This is a step-by-step -step beginner guide for everyone to follow easily. If you find this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Now, let's get right into it. So the first step that we need to do is to simply go to leonardo.ai. Once you're here, click on launch app in the upper right hand corner. So once you have launched the application, what you do need to do next is click on yes, I'm whitelisted button right here. All right, so next is that we will basically be logged into our Leonardo AI page and what we need to do next is that we are going to simply choose a design that we would like to achieve. Say for example, I would like to achieve this kind of coloring book design right here. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to simply copy the prompt or you could also click on image to image right here directly if you want to use the image to image um, method. However, I'm going to do it manually and I'm just simply going to copy and paste the negative prompt from the generation tool. Now for the fine tune model, this would be a Dream um, Shaper version 5. And you could actually use another type of fine tune model. Okay. And here I'm just going to input the generation tool that we would like to have. Now I'm going to have Asper image and here in the left hand panel you will actually see like the image dimension so if, say for example you want to have this kind of image dimension right here um, you can click on the image dimension that you want to achieve and there we have our image here so let's delete this one first and let's click on upload or drag and drop image so here um, I would like to use this photo that I have from my file but I want to achieve the same kind of model as the one that we had a while ago. Alright, so what we're going to do next is we're going to simply click on generate and let's see how it looks like basically. Now when you generate the image, the first thing that you can see is this is the one that we have. Alright. So basically, it's really animated and it's really closest to the one here in the photo. Uh, however, it's not the same as the one that we have a while ago in the design that we have um, copied or would like to achieve, like the coloring book style. So we could also um, increase the init strength, but as much as possible, guys, do not make it uh, very high because it would be like, the one closest to the picture or like it wouldn't really go through your negative prompt so basically here is the next generation so you can see the cap or the hat basically but the there is still a difference and if we try to decrease the in its strength it will give you this kind of image All right, so as you can see, it's actually quite nearer to the one that we have, but it's not the image that we want to achieve. So what we can do is that we can also try to um, increase the init strength and we'll see how it looks like. Alright, so as you can see, it's really quite near to the one that we have in the picture. And there are no differences at all. So, what we can do is that we are going to decrease the init strength as much as possible. And we'll try to see what's the best init strength that it can generate. Okay? It's a matter of exp experimenting your init strength, your generation, and your image prompt. So it doesn't act it actually depends on these three things. So now we have already achieved the black and white 
but it's not quite of like the sketch type and it's not quite of the um one like the one we have a while ago in our model but it's actually the closest one that we've got as you can see all right but there are actually a few details that has been uh, subtracted so say for example there is no hat in the picture and the likes so let's try to copy the prompt this time and then we're going to paste it let's see if it will give us a generation that is the closest to the one that we're looking for i'm just going to delete some portions like the portrait of a japanese artist there okay and let's hit on generate afterwards And this is how it looks like so basically there are really similarities to the one in the picture however there are some elements that has been subtracted since the init strength is also um, a little lower so let's try to increase it and So, as you can see, there has been improvements on the generations or the pictures that we have or we want to achieve. So, hit on generate this time. And now, since we have made the init strength a little higher you can see that it's not any more black and white but rather it's really animated but the features or like there are some things that are quite different from the one we would like to achieve which is the black and white picture or sketch type of picture okay so here these are the generations that we can actually achieve however as for me this is actually the one closest to the one i would like to achieve the one with the coloring book black and white as per image so when you are trying to do an image to image you just need to have the picture the right prompt and also the you know the init strength you know how to manipulate the in its strength of your image so that you would get the perfect image that you would like to generate using Leonardo AI. Say for example, you would like to use this specific image so you could also upscale this one if you would want to. This is for you to focus your subject for example and whatnot. Okay. And basically, that's about it for today's video, guys. I hope that you found this tutorial helpful and thank you so much for watching.